Hello and welcome. My name is Jennifer Long from Be So Inspired. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make these adorable little handy snack bags. They have a zipper on them. They are super easy to make and they are finished on the inside as well. Now, they don't just have to be used for snack bags. We use them um, for all sorts of things. And I've even used some liquid vinyl on the cotton fabric to give them um, sort of a waterproof washable uh, outer shell. And so these snack bags, we use them for everything from hair accessories to cards, to little toys, um, to goggles go in here in the pool and all kinds of wonderful things. So are you ready to make these with me? They're super easy and quick and they help save the planet as well. <laughs> Let's get started. What you need is two six and a half squares of your favorite cotton fabric. A zipper that's longer than six and a half, so at least seven inches. I believe this one's seven and a half inches from end to end, zipper to end. So at least um, at least seven inches longer, or seven inches, so it's longer than your square. I also have an, an inner lining. I'm using just a rib stop, um, and it's food safe, so it can be uh, next to food. It doesn't have any kind of coating, but it gives you a little bit of waterproof as well. And then I'm using this uh, heat and bond liquid vinyl. It's uh, kind of that oil cloth effect. It's uh, waterproof and stain resistant, and it's wonderful for these little bags and a paintbrush. All right. So what we're going to do to get started is we've cut our pieces to six and a half inch squares. I've already prepped this one. If you can see it in the light, it's got a bit of a shine to it. So this one is already done. And I'm going to do this square and show you what I do. So I'm using this heat and bond liquid vinyl from Thermoweb. And um, I just open it up. It looks like this on the inside. And I'll just dab my brush in it. And you can do this as many times as you want. So you're just going to paint, I have it, this is just a sheet of paper underneath so I uh, don't stick up my work surface and I want it to go right to the edge. So you just paint a thin layer over your whole square and then you're gonna let it dry for between 30 to 45 minutes. All right, so I've painted the whole square. I'm going to let it dry for 30 to 45 minutes. Make sure that's closed up again, nice and tight, and you're gonna wash your brush right away. Good. So once this is dry for 30 to 45 minutes, then you can put it on an ironing board. I will just show you what I would do with it once it's dry. I'm gonna take this pressing paper or any kind of a non-stick paper that you can um, use. So this is a pressing paper and this has a shiny side. I'm going to uh, put the shiny side down over top of it and I will just iron it to set that after the 30 to 45 minute wait. Hold it for 45 seconds in each spot and iron it nice and flat and that kind of sets it and gives it that nice shine and oil cloth feeling. Good, if you want it thicker than that, you would just repeat this process over up to three times, however, you want, however many times you want it to do it. Good, once that is ready, then you're going to make a sandwich. So you're gonna take a take this uh, and make a zipper sandwich with it. You're going to um, take your lining piece and then you're going to put your zipper on it hanging over the edges and then right sides together. This is my right side, this is my zipper and then I'm going to flip this and have it right sides together as well. And I'm going to use my clips to clip here, using my zipper foot, I am going to sew along this line right here and just sew along the zipper to make this zipper sandwich. I have this one ready and it looks like this, sewn along the line. Then when I open it up, I'll open up both sides. I'm going to press, uh, pull the sides and sort of finger press that down on both sides, pull it nice and taut and finger press that down. I've got this nice, beautiful straight line with my zipper. And I'm gonna sew uh, a basting, or it's not basting, a tack down stitch right along it here. And so then it'll look like this. Good, so I have a nice stitch line all the way along there. Then I will come to the next side and do the same thing on the next side. So I have one stitched over here and I'm going to make a quilt sandwich on the other side. So I've put my lining piece down right side up, my zipper and my other fabric, clip it, 
and then I'm going to stitch along that side as well. When I open that side up, we're getting there, it looks like this. And so they're to two totally perfect uh, seam lines that you have there and you will stitch along that side. So you can see here that I've stitched along on both sides. I'm planning to make quite a few of these because we have four kids and uh, we use them a lot for all kinds of things like I mentioned, so excellent. Once you have it done this way, you're almost ready for the bag. I'm gonna show you what you do next. So you're gonna make sure this is the most important step is you open up your zipper halfway and you need to do this so that you'll be able to turn it inside out afterwards. We want a good side on the in, or we want the seam to be nice and hidden on the inside and the outside of the bag. So we're gonna turn it like this. Um, you're gonna take, open up your zipper and take the two right sides together. And because I've added the vinyl, uh, liquid vinyl on it, I'm going to use my clips and clip here. I'm also going to do it on the other side here and clip these two sides together. And I'm gonna show you what to do for the zipper here. It's just a little trick to do. Excellent. So if I give it a little bit of a pull, I'm gonna start with the back end of the zipper. Good. If you give it a little bit of a pull, you're gonna want the zipper to come forward towards your, your top side or towards your good side. So you pinch it in there, it's gonna to be totally even and the zipper is going to um, punch forward towards that good side. I'm gonna clip it here as well, like that. Flip it and do the same thing. Now this side is open, so you're gonna want both of these sides, the zipper to be going towards your good fabric, your top fabric, and line them up. And you're gonna give it a little bit of a pull again, make sure they're totally lined up, and use my clips, good. I'm going to leave an opening at the bottom here. So I'm going to start about one third and I'm going to sew all the way along a quarter inch, making sure I'm catching everything. Just go slowly over your zipper all the way around and come back and then back to there. Excellent. I've used pins on this one just to show you how I'm going to do it as well. Good. Once you've done that, then you are going to sew it. So I will show you this closer, but I've sewed my seam all the way around here, like that. I've left an opening right here. Good. So it looks like this, and I've sewn all the way around. I'm going to take my scissors next, and I'm going to clip these corners off. So I'm going to clip the corners because we don't want it to bunch at all. I'm gonna clip my zipper off and my zipper on this side off. And I'm gonna clip this corner and this corner. Excellent, now you get to turn it around and see what happens. So you're gonna use this opening and you can feel for the zipper on the inside here. Good, I'm gonna keep it open. Thankfully you opened up that zipper in that step and you can just push it through and if you have um, like hemostats or any kind of a corner turner, you can use that corner to uh, that turner to make your corners nice. You can um, use a knitting needle there. I have a pair of hemostats here, so I'm going to use those. They look like this. I use that for doll making, and I'm just going to use that blunt end to push in the corners. You can see how this fabric has a nice shine to it from that liquid vinyl, and it's going to be waterproof. Open up all the corners here on the bag, on both sides, on the lining as well. And then when you pull this lining like this, I'll clip all those threads and I'm just gonna sew at an eighth of an inch or less right along the edge just to seal off that opening so that you have a nice finished edge on the inside and you have that edge is sealed off on the inside. So it will look like this. There's my seam along the bottom. That's what my bag looks like. I'm just gonna push this into it. And I have a snack bag ready to go. Push the corners in and zip it up. 
And another snack bag is washable, ready to use as many times as you want. So thank you so much for joining me. If you liked this video, I'd love it if you um, give the video a like. You can follow the Be So Inspired YouTube channel. Um, for more inspiration and free tutorials, make sure you go to the website, um, beSoInspired.com, and you can grab this tutorial in written out tutorial form, along with lots of other great ideas for projects. You can check out my shop at BeSoInspired.com. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day today. Bye for now.